Do you explain to the man how it makes you feel if he pays for the coffee versus splitting the check? Uh, for example, maybe feels romantic if he offers to pay if he asks you out. So I think the general question here is, how do you handle this? Who pays on a date kind of thing? And I have my opinion on this, but I'm curious to hear yours. <laughs> but yeah, for sure. So I know it's not easy to navigate and to mention something. So what I would recommend to the women I coach is to let the men lead. But if he says that he want to share, for example, the bill, like the check, I will tell him next time I would love for you to take care of it. The reason why it's because I prefer for you to take care of the second date or to plan something else where you can cover the fees, but let him cover his fees. So if he wants to take you out to a nice dinner for me, he has to provide for it. And you will be able to organize the next date. If you want, you will be able to take care of it because it's your date. It's your organization. If a man is not, uh, if it's splitting the bills and this is not making you feel secure, you can just share it to him because you know what? Some men will tell you this is what I've seen in my pro coaching. Oh, okay. I'm okay with it because I didn't want to make you feel that you were like, uh, I was taking you, I was taking advantage of you or I was demeaning you. There is a lot of philosophy today about money and dates and mm -hmm. men and women. So I just think that it's good to share your feelings. And my recommendation is let him take care of his dates and you take care of your dates. I want to hear your your vision about that, Michelle. Yeah, I'm I'm in a very very uh, we're definitely definitely in alignment. I think that there's something energetic about splitting a bill that makes it feel yeah. more like a business or a friendship kind of thing. And if you're on a date and you really don't like the guy and he's wanting to split the bill, then I think that would be fine because that's probably going to be the last time you're probably going to see each other. And maybe that gives that message, you know, we could maybe be friends, but it's not, nothing romantic is going to happen here. I just think it's kind of leaky, icky energy to split a, a bill with a man who has a potential romantic relationship. And if a man has invited a woman out, particularly like on a first or second date, I mean, a lot of times first dates or first meetups or a cup of coffee. If the man's not going to spring for a cup of coffee for you on a first date, I don't see that there's a whole lot of potential. And and I but I don't necessarily think that if you're going to be dating someone over the long term and getting to know someone that a woman is not necessarily going to pay for anything anywhere along the way. But I'm like you. I'd rather her like maybe on the I'm more like more like a third, fourth date. She's going to treat him. Right. Yeah, Maybe yeah. the first couple, he's going to treat her. I just think that for me, I want someone who's it's not really so much about the money. I want someone who's generous of spirit. Right. Yeah. And I want that generosity of spirit to be a, a reciprocal thing. But I feel like if a man's inviting a woman out, if he invites her out for a really nice dinner, then hopefully he's thought out, am I going to be able to pay for this <laughs> without <laughs> without yeah. asking her to pay so i would rather see her you know down the road invite him three four dates and invite him out and then her take care of it say you know you've taken me on some really nice dates i'd really like to treat you tonight you know whatever i'd rather see that or she plans it if it's the summer she plans a nice picnic and packs the nice a nice lunch for them you know maybe a bottle of wine whatever right I, I'd rather see that. And then she's reciprocating, but it's not a, we're going to split this down the middle. I just think that's kind of weird energy for a romantic relationship. I love what you just mentioned. And this is very important um, because as you said, when we start to split the, the bill, it's not in, it's kind of like we don't have a long-term vision. It's like the real only one moment that we would see each other. And I think that men love the idea that in order for you to give back, it will not be the money. It will be planning a date, planning an activity. This idea of a picnic shows more than just splitting the bill. And if you, and if you're not comfortable or if you want to talk about it, I think it's possible to do it and say, Hey, what are your thoughts on that? This is my philosophy. This is what I've been raised, uh, raised. Sorry. And, uh, this is what I think. And you will see what will be the, the, the answers and we can keep the communication open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I like that. I like that uh, approach. I like that better. I just, I don't know. It just feels like weird energy to split things right down the middle. Yeah, it is. It is for sure. 